Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? This is SEL0320, representing JBS. This is uh, my <laughs> review for episode 4 of Westworld, season 1, uh, Destiny's Theory. Uh, this episode was very trippy. Anthony Hopkins' character, Ford, um, he's establishing his dominance in a big way. I mean, Theresa, she tried to, you know, buffer with Bernard. They have their little sexual relationship or whatever. Um, but... She was trying to interact with Anthony Hopkins' character and trying to let him know, like, these changes you're making are going to be detrimental and the boy would not stand for him. And basically understood that that's what he would do. And basically told her, look, you need to just back off or there will be consequences of that. And I was like, he knew, one, about their relationship. And then, two, he knows everything about her. Like, this dude, like, he... He has a whole world at his command, essentially. And it's, it's interesting. I I wonder how much control he actually has. Then the other interesting part is um, William and that dude is a, a jerk. Um, they are going off script because the guy that's his friend or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's just a bad guy. And William's a good guy. And he's trying to help uh, Dolores and... Dolores is really kind of feeding into the whole entire thing. And I, I don't think it's going to benefit her to see somebody go this dark way. Um, especially what's in her. Um, so that's going to be interesting. And it's, it's weird because uh, the man in black, like, he he's continuously doing things that are just rogue, man. He, he's nothing but a really a big rogue, honestly. I know that sounds weird, but the dynamics of a game fundamentally you got you know a protagonist an antagonist and then you got story plotting things that will shift and change and the dynamics of this game keeps on changing and it's like more and more as I watch this show this is a game um, and it's, it's just the pieces are being shuffled around and now you got um, what's her name the lady that plays um, the prostitute like she is completely coherent like she remembers you know them in the mask she remembers everything and then given like the ending with her and the bandit i was just like wow um i don't know how she's continuously remembering um but she is and it's very dangerous um i'm curious to see what's going to end up happening um long term with her i think that her character and dolores are going to find way back to each other um, and they're going to put all the pieces together because the amount of information they have between them is enough, really, to make this a very dangerous game. And then the other thing is uh, William's friend ended up changing up guns. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that meant. I, I don't know how, you know, you can shoot a robot. Ruber, I can't shoot you. So I, I, don't, I don't really know. I, I feel like that's going to come back to bite him a little bit later on. But anyway, I enjoyed this episode. I'm going to stop rating this thing. Like, each episode really is, feels like a 10 for me. Uh, I don't have any problems with this episode. Um, it was dope. It just continues the narrative. And I got, like, six more episodes to go. So I better get to it. Keep it locked. JVS, we ain't going to stop. I'll see you all in three more episodes. Peace.